is the way most hip roof buildings, and this is a hip roof, and this is the way they're framed, with the king post in the center. That's that post behind it. That's a 12-inch piece of timber. And these are common rafters, and the ones on there, that's a hip rafter. And they mount it into the top of it. This is the attic of the house. What do you keep in here? Well, it's all kinds of you see books and odds and ends and things like that. Things that usually you put in the attic of a house, you know. So I have a lot of books here and I do some reading and I do some work in the shop. I got that window to fix in the north of the house, see. Uh, you heard about the Pirates of the Caribbean. That's what they put the gold in. But I built that in the 1940s. It was made of an old copper boiler and scrap iron, but it was on an airfield in uh, Germany. He turned that key hard enough, so it goes a little over. See, now it was when I was in service, I had a fair amount of spare time because I worked in the kitchen. That was a day on the day off job. From 1942 to 45, it was a good job. <laughs> because I could learn a lot of things by being stationed in England and in Belgium, see, in France, you see, at that time. <laughs> a lot of things about architecture and buildings, and that's what I was interested in, see. I was uh, doing a series of paintings and drawings based on old tools, and um, I heard about this man in town who had many, many old tools, and I called him, and he was nice enough to have me over, and I spent the whole day with him, and uh, he showed me all his different tools in his house and out in his barns. I was kind of carpenter and cabinet maker. Yeah, that's what I always did in carpentry work and restore antique furniture and antique houses. And I've done a lot of that, see. This was made in the 1930s when I went to high school. That's built like a regular house. It built three quarters inches to port. And there's the edge showing the monitors. Pin goes through the right through the uh, monitors. That's what holds it together. See, and now that's the cupboards. The doors open and all of them. See, and there's cupboards here. See, well, I, I spent about three or four years spare time on this on this building. After the model, did you make a real house? It's very similar to the house in School Street. This was back in 1946. Those were something that I built, uh, mostly to have experience in building buildings, because I wanted to see if I could get it put together, see. After I got done the day, I realized the tools are nice, but Houston is so much nicer, so I did a whole series of portraits of him over the last few years. That's Samuelson. And that last my great grandfather used to. <laughs> this is the same family. And this man was born in this house. This from here, my great grandfather. The house was built around uh, 1795 by uh, Major Robert Houston. And that was my great great grandfather. Where was I born? In this house in the northwest room. <laughs> That's what wow. my mother said. <laughs> my father was president of the bank in Darmer's Corner for a number of years. But for a long while, I didn't get along too good with my father. And then he began to understand me. He had much more <laughs> respect for the things that I did. See, that. One thing I really love about Houston is his life not only spans most of the last century, he's 92 years old, but he also embodies such knowledge of the way things were done close to 100 years ago when people took the time to make things by hand and with quality and um, beautiful design and his use of old hand tools. He makes a lot of his own tools. When many kids his age were out uh, socializing and things, from what he's told me he spent a lot of time building models of buildings and uh, so his creativity has always been there from the time he was young. One right there that people seem to like and that's <laughs> That's the high boy. <laughs> yeah, I made this one too. Now that's made out of metal out of a car doors. On the end and the back of it, see. 
he definitely walks on a, his own path <laughs> and uh, but he's he's always looking at the world with a lot of wonder he's always looking and observing and he's given land to the uh, river association so that uh, much of the land in town that he owned is now uh, guarded forever to be just left natural and left on the side of the river so he's been very appreciated for his willingness to give like that the uh, Tibet they've ever see they, they're into Buddhism very much and they're all for peace and the Dalai Lama is very I respect that man reincarnation karma makes a lot of sense karma action and reaction what you do today determines what happens tomorrow <laughs> Christ is my master teacher see but I don't like to think of him as a person that's nailed to a cross. I like to think of him as a person that you, that you can talk to or that you can communicate with. So do you communicate with him often? Uh, oh, oh yes, he's, he's, and I give him all he gives thanks for my, for, for my protection from all evil negative forces and, and uh, to help me to be a better man and love my neighbors myself and those things. Like, do you think he answers your prayers? Well, I think so because I seem to be everything seems to be going right. I don't have very many complaints. See, <laughs> so that's my philosophy. See, that I would buy, see, the make of this I think is Stella. That's T E L L A. take all this stuff off the top. <laughs> Whether I can lift it up enough so that you can get a view of it. I think it helps me physically. And garlic will remove cadmium, lead, and mercury from your system. You don't want to cook it because it kills the end of a natural antibiotic in it. And like, how much of it do you have? In here? I have one of those, one of these uh, clothes you know, for each meal. And the uh, <coughs> chiropractor gives me karate exercises to do, oh. kicking and <laughs> twisting and you know, all those kind of things. Do you get sick often? No, I don't get sick too often. I have to be careful not eat too much. And I don't eat a lot of meat. See, vegetables and milk. I can't drink coffee and I can't drink Coca-Cola. Don't agree with me. <laughs> 